Okay, this is ridiculous. Um, it's moving day. I'm vlogging. I took a pregnancy test this morning. Oh my God, it sounds feels really weird to say it out loud. I took a pregnancy test this morning and it was positive. And I can't show it to you because it's like packed away in like a secret box that I've labeled as like handbags don't open. Yeah, I'm pregnant. Oh my God, that's really weird to say that. I couldn't vlog like when I actually found out um, because I was in my parents' house. Luckily, Rich was actually with me because we're moving and it's a Saturday. I took like a cheapy Tesco one and it had a, a line, but like kind of a significant line, it wasn't that faint. So I went, after I dropped him off at our removals van place, I went and bought like one of those expensive ones um, and it said pregnant one to two weeks. I've watched so many videos like this and people are always so shocked and surprised and I'm definitely not shocked or surprised I'm I'm relieved I am massively relieved I feel like I want to vlog this experience for myself and for you guys it feels a bit weird obviously it's like massively personal it just doesn't feel real it doesn't feel real at all right now like I feel completely normal my boobs don't hurt like everyone says they're going to I just feel completely normal I actually came off the pill in March it's now the 1st of September. No one ever talks about coming off the pill. They always talk about going on the pill, but no one ever tells you what happens when you come off. And I came off the pill, I was ready. I was like, yep, yeah, wanna have a baby. And I never got my period. I'd been on the pill for 15 years and I just didn't get my period. And it's been, I know it hasn't been that long compared to most people, like five months. It's been really like, I wouldn't say stressful. I don't know, it's just been playing on my mind a lot. I have this like feeling of responsibility that when things happen to me that feel like they're probably more common than I think, I always feel like I should share it. So although this whole experience is very private and personal, I also kind of want to share it a little bit as well. Maybe I might, this might not ever go anywhere, but I just feel like I want to film it just in case. So um, it's the 20th of April. We're about to move out of our house next week to do it up. And me and Rich have always said that we want to have kids. Um, but I very much, I'm, I feel like I'm quite aware of what is involved with having kids. Not everything, of course, but I've got five, four, four nephews and one niece, lots of older sisters and friends who are very honest. So it's not something I have been ready for for quite a while because I've wanted to focus more on my career. I wanted to have a house that had room for kids and I just wanted to get certain things sorted before. Um, I'm very aware that I am a bit of a control freak, so I like to plan things out as much as I can. So anyway, for the past few months, I've just had this feeling, something's changed where I've just been like, I think I'm ready. Like, it takes a, it takes a long time to cook a baby, nine months, so you need to kind of think ahead and you can't just be like, right, I want a baby now. You need to think, am I going to want a baby in nine months time? So yeah, it's been kind of weird having these sort of discussions and thinking like, do we want to have a baby or not? And also because I'm on the pill, it's not like some people could just be like, oops, got pregnant. <laughs> Whereas we have to actively make that decision. So that's been terrifying. What do I know about coming off the pill? Well, what I did know, I thought that you just come off the pill and then everyone says you're quite likely, like you're your most fertile when you first come off the pill. And my gynecologist who I used to see when I had bladder problems, like checked my ovaries and was like, yeah, you're super fertile. So I was always like, I'm not coming off the pill until I'm like ready for a baby because it will happen straight away. It's just a bit of a weird time because it's kind of all I'm thinking about at the moment. And I just kind of want my period to come so I can get on with my life. And then you kind of start reading things and some people say like they didn't get their period for six months after coming off the pill. And that kind of freaks me out a bit. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, you know, I've had like 42 day cycles, 62 day cycles, and it's just been impossible to work out when I'm ovulating. It's like a bloody maths test. It, I found it so tricky and so much pressure and I've never wanted my period more. I swear I like hate having a period, but I was like, come on, where are you? I wanted to vlog now because I'm stuck in this really weird space and I think it's the most lonely I've ever felt. And so I imagine a lot of you guys are going through this right now and it might be helpful to you to watch this. I spent so many years freaking out about getting pregnant and worried that if I come off the pill, I'm gonna get pregnant. And then another part of me knows that so many of my friends struggle to get pregnant and took years. I'm kind of stuck in this middle place of like, it could happen really quickly, could take ages to happen and really overwhelming me and I'm trying not to obsess over it and think about it too much, but from what I've heard from other people, everyone kind of goes through this and I found it really confusing so far. So um, 
yeah, definitely hasn't happened straight away and don't really understand what my body's doing at all. I don't know what my like natural cycle is because I've been on the pill for so long and it's massively thrown me. So that's kind of where I'm at now. This is the most TMI I've ever been, but I just got my period today and I'm so happy just to like know that my body's like working, you know, I just didn't know if I was ever gonna get it and that really freaked me out. So I'm feeling very grateful to my body today and I've never been so happy to get my period before. Literally, I used to dread it, it's really funny. It seems that this month, we actually worked it out in the end. We ended up using like really basic ovulation sticks, not the ones where you have a flashing smiley face because those are really stressful and that confused me one month and that was a fail. I can't believe it. It feels really surreal right now even talking about it. I just, I think we're just gonna like get through today because we're moving house. There's so much to do. Um, Rich is, every time I look at Rich, he like looks at me and we're just like, <laughs> our friend Ben's helping us move and oh, I just, it's so weird. I'll probably spend tonight having a takeaway and Googling what the hell I'm supposed to do now because I have no idea. I, I didn't think I'd get to this point. I feel so lucky right now to even be at this point. Very weird, very weird, very weird. Look guys, how crazy is that? It showed up as pregnant whilst the loading thing was still there pretty quickly and then the one to two appeared. And apparently that means I'm actually four weeks pregnant because they take it from your last period, which is always very confusing, um, which is crazy. How can you be not pregnant one second and then four weeks pregnant the next? I never thought I would see those words because I've taken so many of these things over the past five months and they've all said not pregnant. I really started to hate these. I was very happy when I saw this. It's the day after finding out and it's starting to sink in a little bit now. Rich like woke me up this morning. He's like, oh my God, you're pregnant. And now I'm just trying to decide when to tell like my family. I really don't know because it doesn't feel real yet. So I feel weird <clears throat> telling them. Okay, today is the 12th of September. So technically, if I'm going from when my last period was, I'm six weeks today although i still suspect that i'm like a week behind i just have a feeling but i'm going for my first private scan next week on monday I mean, it was meant to be today but i just felt like it was too early um so i pushed it back a week and i think then i'll be able to have like a clearer idea of dates and stuff so what can i update you on i feel like i haven't got any symptoms and it's kind of been freaking me out a bit just because it's weird to not feel anything but then a couple of things. One, I found out really early, like my mum was saying, like back in the day, back in her day, people didn't find out they were pregnant until they were like eight weeks. So I think I've done a lot of Googling and stuff, which I know I shouldn't. And I watch a lot of videos on YouTube, which is why I'm making these, because I think they really do help when you're in this kind of early pregnancy stage. Um, a lot of people said that their symptoms didn't start till they were like six, seven weeks. So it'll be interesting to see this week if anything changes or next week if I, as I suspect, I'm like a week behind. First of all, I'm getting really spotty and I never get spotty. I've got like spots on my chin area and that's just something I don't normally get spots, so that's annoying. Um, I've definitely, like last week, I kept going to bed at like 10, 10.30. I'd be so tired when watching TV in the evening and I just had to go straight to sleep. That's kind of not happening this week. Like, I feel like I've been going to bed at my normal time this week and I haven't been as tired. Although yesterday at two o'clock, I had like a random nap on my sofa in my office which um, is kind of weird. Although like months ago when I thought I was pregnant, I had a nap in the middle of the day, which is just really funny now because now I know I wasn't pregnant. I was just lazy. Um, I've definitely got like a really achy lower back. Not right now, but especially last week, my lower back was so achy. Apparently that's like all to do with hormone um, levels changing. And I just feel like gen generally quite unmotivated. Like yesterday I was just like, I got no work done. I filmed one video and then it just like, made me so tired for the rest of the day um, and I hate feeling unproductive. I feel so overwhelmed with everything I need to do with the house and I just like have no motivation to do any of it. I have been feeling quite worried. It's such a weird time, it's such a weird feeling where you feel like excited but then every time I get like a pang of excitement I get like a pang of guilt where I feel like I'm not allowed to be excited because you just hear so many people. That's the thing, like I think online it's amazing that people are talking now so openly about miscarriage because it means that people who have gone through that feel less alone. But also because of that, I feel like all I hear people talk about is like miscarriage and I listen to podcasts and people are like, oh yeah, I miscarried my first. And they're like, oh yeah, we did too. 
and I'm just like, oh my god, this is not something I'd really thought about. So I'm very nervous about that and I think not having symptoms is making me feel more nervous because I'm like, is everything okay? I don't know, I'm trying not to freak out about it, but I really do just feel like it's all I'm thinking about every minute of every day it's just like I feel like the days are going really slowly and I kind of wish I hadn't have found out so early because if I found out at like eight weeks then it would just be so much easier I wouldn't have to be like counting down the days like ah, come on Rich is really happy we told his family yesterday which is exciting because it's their first grandchild again another thing where I felt like it felt like a big deal telling them because I was like, what if something does go wrong? I don't want to like disappoint them and like seeing them so excited was also quite scary. But um, it's nice for him and it makes it feel a bit more real for him because I think it's it must be really strange for the guy. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I am six weeks today and I was going to film later when I know I'll probably feel better but then... I was like, what's the point of showing me when I'm all makeup up, ready to go? Um, I should probably show this bit instead if I'm trying to kind of capture the real part. So I'm six weeks. I now know my dates because we went for a scan yesterday and I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, not feeling great, hence why I can barely talk. Um, so I've written notes on how I've been feeling since last week. Um, last week, I was still not feeling like massive symptoms. I was waking up and wanting breakfast, which is unusual for me. And past like 8.30 p.m. in the evening, I'd get, I'd get really tired and just need to go to bed. And when I, eat, when I eat in the evening, I get so bloated. Um, I went out for dinner with my parents and I just couldn't do my jeans up. So I get really bloated in the evening. Um, and then this week, so now it's Tuesday. Yes, since Sunday, I've been feeling really sick. All of the symptoms that people describe are very different actually to how I imagined. The tiredness isn't like wanting to fall asleep, it's more just kind of feeling quite blank and like you have no personality and you're really unmotivated. And then the sickness feels, although today it feels more like sickness, but the past two days it felt more like anxiety, like I don't know, when I get nervous I get a really stiff jaw, like it's a similar feeling to what I get when I'm on a plane, but for me feeling sick and feeling anxious tie in really close together so it's hard for me to know when I'm feeling anxious and when I'm feeling sick. Today's probably the first proper day where I feel like I have full on morning sickness, well it's now 11, no it's 10 to 12. I feel awful, I feel, I can't, I can barely talk, I feel so breathless. I, I know that I shouldn't let my stomach get empty because it'll make me feel worse but it's so hard to eat when you feel like this. Um, and I'm home alone and when I'm normally like ill, I, you know, I, I, I want someone to kind of look after me. I don't know how women who have to go to work do it, I really don't. I have no idea, hats off to you. As you can also hear, I'm like on the border of crying. <laughs> that happens a lot. I cried a lot the other day. Um, oh, I just feel so sick. I'm drinking fizzy water. I have like a semi fear of feeling sick and I hate it. So when I feel sick, I feel anxious and it's it's a whole kind of knock-on effect. Um, but aside from feeling shit, it is very exciting because yesterday we went for a private scan. I thought I was seven weeks, but I'm six weeks and I knew I was gonna be behind because NHS go by um, when your last period was and they kind of refuse to go by any other date. Whereas if you go private and if you know when you ovulated, they can work out a more realistic date. So I'm six weeks which is still really early and hence why my symptoms have now started because everyone says they start at six weeks. So if you are, if you just found out you're pregnant and you're like four or five weeks and you're thinking, why well, don't I have any symptoms? Oh, don't worry, they will come. <laughs> um, we had an internal scan, which was really fine and everything's looking really good. He said like the sack looks really good, nice thick like lining of the sack. We saw a little heartbeat, which was really exciting. And he said I had good progesterone levels. Um, he did say that I have a retroverted uterus, which is something I never knew, despite all the kind of scans and stuff I had when I was a teenager, when I had bladder problems, I didn't know that. Um, it just means that my uterus, instead of tilting forward like most people's, mine tilts back. He said it literally doesn't affect anything. It just means if I don't have a very kind of experienced scanner they might find it harder to like find the baby and stuff. Before I started feeling sick, I'm struggling to eat anything now but before this 
I was loving like for salt and vinegar, snacker jacks, anything kind of salt and vinegary I loved. We've got space and K event tonight where we're meeting 70 people. And at the moment I can barely like go walk downstairs. I'm really nervous about it. I've got another event next week. Um, I'm having to cancel a lot of meetings and stuff. But again, like I said, most people just have normal jobs. So I know I'm very lucky. I'm just feeling very nervous about everything and I hate feeling sick. Hi everyone, um, excuse what I look like, I'm just not going to look good in this video, it's just not going to happen. Um, I'm trying to film clips every Tuesday, it's now Wednesday, so yesterday I turned seven weeks. Baby is now the size of a raspberry, went from like a sesame seed to a lentil to a blueberry to a raspberry. Just grows really fast, which is so clever, but that's obviously why I'm feeling so rough. Last week was brutal like really brutal it was so sudden like monday straight away from monday to wednesday which sounds so short now but it felt like the longest three days of my life i felt so awful like i couldn't eat which i knew was making it worse and then on wednesday oh i'm still so breathless i can't talk it's difficult to talk it's been so difficult to film videos um, i'm really sorry if my videos have just been so crap i just when i'm filming i just want it to be over as soon as possible it's difficult to talk it's difficult to be normal i feel really nauseous um but it's different to what i had last week that was like another level so i think now what i've got is like normal so i feel like this from like the minute i wake up to about one o'clock and it's been tricky to figure out what to eat in the morning. Like, before I get out of bed, I eat dry Cheerios. That kind of helps take the edge off. But I haven't really been enjoying eating any of the things that people recommend. Like, ginger biscuits and stuff like that. I've been getting, like, a bit of cramping. Nothing, like, major. Nothing to worry about. Just, like, the sort of cramping where you feel like stuff's going on in there. And I've got that awful metallic taste in my mouth. Which is really annoying because nothing tastes good like nothing tastes how it's supposed to so the metallic taste is very annoying i've had loads of food aversions like basically i just haven't wanted to eat anything um I definitely haven't had any meat like for over a week red meat um i haven't wanted that and i just haven't really wanted to eat anything apart from like soup i'm just kind of like counting down the weeks i'm like i can't wait till next tuesday <laughs> which is like what's next tuesday i was like it's just another week gone <laughs> so that's a bit how i feel right now Literally 20 minutes after I finished filming that last clip, I went downstairs and I threw up everywhere. That's the first time I've actually been sick. And I hate throwing up. I have such a fear of it. I was shaking and crying and I just hate being alone. I always want someone here to like, to remind me to breathe because I was like hyperventilating. But at least that's kind of out of the way now and it's done. I just hope that isn't a regular thing. Hello everybody! Well, I feel like a new human vlogging this week. Um, I'm now week eight. As we know so far though, the NHS think I'm almost week nine, but I know I'm only almost week eight. Um, and yeah, as you can see, I'm like a different human being. I feel totally different. I don't want you to think I'm exaggerating, but I feel like I was like almost kind of feeling quite depressed. Um, I feel like everything just Feeling that way was a shock. I don't think the pregnancy was a shock, but just feeling ill was a shock and I wasn't leaving the house and I just felt so awful. I'm starting to feel better. I don't feel 100% great by any means. Um, it comes in waves, I'm um, feeling queasy, but I'm, I've got my appetite back, which has made such a difference because when I eat, I feel better. Um, I know that like around 12 o'clock and around six o'clock, I feel my worst because I'm like due a meal. Um, and even though when I feel queasy during that time and I the last thing I want to do is eat I know if I eat I feel better so I'm just like getting into the habit of always like it's actually hard to think of what to eat all the time because I have to eat like every hour it feels like and I've realized it basically feels like a constant hangover like tired sick and you just feel bleh, you feel gross um so I definitely compare it to a hangover um other foods that I've been enjoying frozen grapes quite like refreshing or even just cold grapes are really nice and um, to snack on and then when I started to get my appetite back I started craving random things like microchips were those originals really nice to suck on my sister said she enjoyed those in pregnancy so I've been trying them and it's a nice little like sugar kick and things like crisps like pom bears um and pringles like crunchy easy to eat things like that Completely gone off tea, haven't had one cup of tea for like two weeks. Um, I had decaf tea before, so I was gonna continue drinking decaf tea, but haven't wanted tea, haven't really enjoyed 
dairy or like any kind of milk apart from hot chocolate i've been enjoying drinking hot chocolate in the evening um how else have i been feeling i haven't got like a bump yet obviously although i feel so bloated um i feel like i definitely can't wear my like skinny jeans but i don't feel ready to buy maternity jeans yet so figuring out what to wear to like work events has been a bit of a struggle oh my god burping another thing to add i'm so burpy it's ridiculous so in the booking appointment they asked us like 500 million questions but luckily i'm like low risk and um, all of my answers are pretty much no for everything yeah that's really good and they did they took blood so i've got like took blood it didn't hurt they have like special people that do it all day my tip would be though to take food with you take sandwiches and stuff because you do end up waiting a long time and you don't want to be feeling hungry and faint when you're getting your blood taken rich had to like run and get me a sandwich Hi everyone, quick check-in from me. I am nine weeks today, um, which is crazy. It kind of sounds like a lot, but then also I just feel like the time is going so slowly. I've been feeling so much better sickness-wise and it's made me realize how bad I really was in week six and seven, like, oh my God, so bad. Um, now I only really feel sick if I don't eat often enough. So I really have to eat like a lot. Um, so that's when I feel a bit queasy or a bit sick. I mean, I just don't feel 100% me all the time. My skin is so spotty. Like, I'm so spotty around my chin. I've got spots here on my forehead. I'm just not used to having spots, so that's a bit weird. I've got a little bit of a tummy. Like, in the evenings, I'm always bloated, but I've started to feel like it's a little bit hard during the day as well, which is kind of weird. Just feeling really, really tired all the time, really, but especially in the afternoon and then in the evening. Um, like yesterday I went into town, I woke up in the morning and had a little bit of energy and I thought, oh my god, how amazing, like, let me go, let's go into town. So I went into town with my mum and by the time we got there, I was just like, so tired. I feel like I just have no personality at the moment, really struggle to make any decisions. Like, I feel like I answer, don't know, to like every question anyone asks me. I just, I can't make any sort of decision about anything. But I'm really happy that I'm not feeling that sick anymore. The only thing I am feeling quite strongly is um, anxiety. Just so, so anxious all the time. And not about anything like particular. I'm not actually anxious about like the baby or anything like that. Um, I don't know why, but I'm just like, there's no point worrying about something until you know. It's just anxiety that's just there all the time. Um, the one thing I do feel quite anxious and worried about is my work and my job. I don't know why suddenly now I'm like freaking out about it, but I think it's because I'm, I've been really off the ball. I've been, my videos have been really bad the past few weeks and I've been getting like some quite mean comments on the videos. Like I got a comment this Sunday just being like, this video is so boring. And someone was like, you really need to step up your creativity. And I'm just like, oh, I wish everyone knew. So I could just have like a bit of sympathy. There is a reason. But also I'm just like, oh my God, is this gonna be it now? Like. I know I'm going to probably get that burst of energy in the second trimester, but then in the third, I'm going to be feeling like this again. And then when I actually have a baby, how am I going to do my job? And I'm suddenly just like spiraling into like a bit of a panic about what my future with work is. Just because I've kind of lost my work mojo at the moment is making me feel all out of like sorts. And I'm like, oh God, what am I doing with my life? So that there's a lot of anxiety, both work wise and just like general random anxiety about nothing. And I think that part of it is hormones, apparently, because there's just so many hormones going on, it makes you feel really anxious. Hi, everyone. So today I am 10 weeks. Exciting, because as you know, my scan is at 11 weeks. So that's next week. Um, things are starting to like pick up. I'm going for a little tour around the hospital on Friday. Um, and then our scan is next week. So hopefully I'll be able to tell people soon, which is really exciting. Um, this week has been a really hard week and I feel bad. I've been watching back this video and I hope I'm not putting people off being pregnant. But also I was listening to Vanessa Feltz on the radio this morning and she did a whole segment on like people talking more honestly about what it's really like to be pregnant um, because Meghan Markle just announced that she is pregnant and she's obviously like touring around Australia looking great. So very lucky for people who have a nice pregnancy. Maybe she doesn't. I don't know. I feel really sorry for her. Maybe she doesn't want to be there. Anyway, ramble over. I hope that you don't mind um, that I'm being quite honest in these videos. Um, this week has been a really tough week, um, a very sicky week. I had two days, Wednesday and Sunday, where I was throwing up a lot. Um, I'm still as terrified as ever of throwing up. It just, once I'm sick, it just ruins the rest of the day because I get 
such like this like hyperventilating nervous oh it's awful and as well as those two days where i was actually being sick i felt sick um almost every day this week today's the first day where i feel a little bit better it's just so unpredictable it's crazy how much you like can't plan like i've got a photographer coming over at the end of this week and i'm like i hope i'm okay that day like you just can't plan how you're gonna feel mental health wise pretty much the same as it's been the whole way my video on sunday had such bad comments and my mum was like if they knew they'd be nicer and I'm, that's why I tweeted being like you shouldn't have to know what someone's going through to be nice to them like I know once I tell everyone then people will be like oh that's why your videos have been really boring <laughs> but I kind of just wish everyone was being nice anyway it's so tricky to explain the difference between like me being me and like me being YouTube me um it is the same person but there's a difference between being on being off and that's what I'm struggling with anyway so the video the comments were terrible and it really got me down and at the moment I have no idea what I'm gonna film for Sunday's video and it's freaking me out a little bit I should really just take a break but I've got a lot of like um work like jobs ads on and I don't want to just have like ad stuff going out and no, nothing non-ad going out at the same time apart from it being like a bit of a sicky week just the lack of personality is really difficult I am literally like boring myself like when I spend time with people I just like bring them down because I'm just like sitting inside. I have nothing to add to a conversation. I have like no interests. I can't, I don't care about anything. I just, ha all I can explain it is having no personality and just not being able to make any sort of decisions. That's a really weird symptom. Struggling to sleep a bit now as well at night. Lots of like tossing and turning, going to the toilet throughout the evening, throughout the night. Um, and just being so tired, like by 7.30, I'm like, so tired and um, i'm going to bed at like eight o'clock waking up at nine like the longest night's sleep ever also had a really funny experience on sunday which is the day that i was really sick um rich managed to like drag me out of the house and we met my parents for lunch and i was just thinking to myself how can any child be mean to their mum ever like knowing that they've gone through this for them and as i was trying to tell rich about my thought um, I couldn't I couldn't tell him and I just burst into tears in the middle of the restaurant uncontrollably sobbing like I couldn't stop myself and I haven't really been crying much throughout this pregnancy so that was like probably my like third time and it, he was laughing so much but I couldn't and once I eventually told him why I was crying he, he made him laugh even more because it was so ridiculous but I just couldn't stop crying um, so that was really funny that was my first proper emotional crying experience eating and drinking that metallic taste has started to like chill out a bit which is amazing because i really hated that um i've really been enjoying <laughs> so random literally i was eating it the other day and i think i took my last bite and i just said to rich oh that was delicious cucumber just cold cucumber by itself crunchy refreshing really loving cucumber so we've got like three things of cucumber in our fridge at the moment um and then just been eating like things like pom bears just to like fill me up as a snack but struggling still to think of like i've just been eating really like boring plain stuff and also i'm starting to think about like how i'm going to tell you guys which i just have no idea um but i am i am excited to tell everyone and just be like oh it's out there i just really hope i start to feel better after 12 weeks i know some people don't some people do I'm like I need to get back at being good at my job. <laughs> Just checking in midweek. It's the weekend. I haven't had a great morning. I've been being sick, if I'm honest. But I don't. I don't need to keep telling you about every time I throw up. Um, it's quite unpleasant. But something quite funny happened last night. I went um, on a tour of our hospital. Rich was away, so I took my mum. Um, and I thought you go on a tour to like decide whether you want to go to that hospital and have all your appointments there and stuff. So obviously, I'm quite early on. Um, but there were people there who were so heavily pregnant, like most people on the tour were like past 30 weeks, one girl was due like next week, so one I looked ridiculous because people were like, is she even pregnant? And then also in a group of 10 people, guess who almost fainted twice on the tour? Yep, me. <laughs> I have no idea why, I have fainted before in hospitals, um, I don't think I do that well in hospitals, but like mentally I wasn't scared, it was very nice, we really liked the hospital, but um, like standing in a room talking a lot about birth it got a bit much for me and i got really hot and sweaty and i kept having to like sit down by a window um the midwife was very sweet about it she was like maybe you're anemic i was like no i think i'm just pathetic there is no hope for me so my mum was just laughing so much i looked completely ridiculous guys look in the evening this is what i look like wait 
Well, it's not really the evening. Oh my god, I do just kind of look fat, but it's a proper bump. I can't, like, that's me breathing in. How weird is that? I think I'm gonna end the video here because it's Sunday and this Thursday we have our 12 week scan which I think I might vlog for the vlog where I actually tell people that I'm pregnant um so this was meant to be like an early early pregnancy vlog thing anyway I don't think I'm gonna like vlog in terms of updates the whole way through because I think it'll get really boring but I'll do like a second trimester thing like update maybe at some point but it won't be like weekly like this has been because I think it's the first trimester that I really wanted to talk about because that's the bit that no one talks about and is the hardest, I think, in in a different way maybe to the rest. If you made it through this video, if I ended up keeping it as one video, then well done to you and thank you. And hopefully the rest of my videos will be more positive. I know it's been a little bit moany, um, but I just wanted to share how I was feeling really. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know what sort of videos you would like to see from now on. Hopefully it will be a lot easier to do my job now that it isn't a secret. Oh, where's the time? Oh, quarter to six, it's almost my bedtime. Speak to you guys later. Bye.